Hi there, this is um, New Brighton Beach, a video that I took when we went the other day. Really scorching and beautiful. This is the uh, breakwater, which is like a big Y shape. Must have been uh, designed with a particular purpose in mind. I think it was quite interesting. It looks quite good on the drone shots. Lots of birds here on the beach. Um, I like photographing birds in flight, but I have to make sure I don't get too close to them. They don't bring the drone down. This is showing the promenade. Uh, lots of parking for a good, you know, mile or so. Lots of benches to sit on. Beautiful sand. Sand was really soft under underfoot. That's the harvester in the distance there. And this is um, this is what the concrete things look like from the air. I think it's a lot better than just having big blocks of solid concrete because the kids were able to do, not my kids, but there were some kids there crabbing with the granddad, um, having a whale of a time. The water was really warm. So you can see here, it was a really windy day. That's one of the uh, lifeguards taking the flags out to the uh, beach. You're only allowed to, to swim in between where they put the flags which is understandable. I wouldn't feel safe if the lifeguards hadn't been there, actually, if I was there with children, because you can see later that they do have to tell people to move out of the uh, path of the tide. I think it can come in behind you, really. You can see there there's like sandbanks where if you were on them, you could get cut off quite easily. So this is panning round, lovely sun on the sand in the shallows was a very windy day so there may be some shuddering on this uh, video so that's going just inland just behind the uh, the promenade where we were looking towards uh, Bootle there that was a quick shot so I'm taking this out to uh, out to the sea you can see the sand so lovely very clean very clean so coming here towards, there was a load of seagulls and other, other seabirds on the end here, waiting for some goodies to come in when the tide comes in. So uh, I quite like these slow motion shots of the birds. It is quite loud, my drone, luckily, so it does give them quite a bit of a warning that it's there, so they're not going to fly into it. You can see wind turbines on the uh, horizon when, you, when you're on the beach. It's not that clear on these shots, actually. So that's just pulling up to show the shape of the uh, concrete, concrete, what would you call them? Concrete posts or whatever they are. So the sea doesn't look so blue there, but it really was uh, when the sun was on it. You can see here. Um, the tide, how far the tide is in, and you'll see later it comes in quite fast. So these are a few close-ups of um, things. I took with my iPhone with a new macro attachment, that's Barnacle. And then there were some children crabbing, so they let me photograph the crab's eye in a bucket. <laughs> and then the next one is just of a shell. I've not seen many pink shells. It did stand out on the uh, sand, that one. So, yeah, and then I decided to go down the other side uh, of the breakwater. I'll call it breakwater. I don't know what else to call it, really. So I start going quite fast. You can see some children playing in the sea uh, down at the bottom here. I think they get told to move in, in a while by the lifeguard. And then I think I turn again and go and have another look and see what the uh, seagulls are doing. You can see, can you see how the uh, the tide's risen above a, above a lot of the breakwater here? So it's starting to disappear under the water. So we've got more more seagulls there. A lot of them on the sea. And then just coming round. Bringing her up now. Tom and, I, Tom and I are on that shot. 
just uh, left of centre there. Unless it's just me. No, it's just me on my own. <laughs> I need my glasses on. So panning round there. And there you can see the lifeguard going out on his uh, trike to tell those people to move. Lovely and warm in those channels for a paddle. So there's Tom and I now. So I'd pan round there. And you can see it's uh, coming even more. And then there's, I think, the family setting up there. I'm not sure whether they were setting up or they were packing up. If there's any juddering on this, it's because of the uh, wind. I think the drone was uh, working very hard. So I think I was just paused here, wondering what to do next. Which, oh yeah, I'm just bringing it back towards us on the beach. So I thought I'd take the uh, drone along the sand. I like the low shots on the drone. You don't necessarily have to be high up to to get the nice shots, I don't think, anyway. After you've got over the initial going as high as you can, when everybody does when they first get a drone. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a lifeguard sat there on the shore. Could be. So uh, that's showing all the cars parked. Right down at the other end of the promenade, there is um, a home bargain and a few other pubs and restaurants, really nice. There's the uh, one of the lifeguards on the trike working hard and there's a dog having some fun it is a dog friendly beach so that was nice to watch another aerial shot showing the uh, tide coming in i wonder which engineers um designed those and what the rationale is behind them being that shape there's bootle docks or liverpool docks in the distance and here you can see uh we were walking into, uh, walking along the coastal path behind the sand dunes, watching people on the beach, and came to the uh, harvester. We had a nice meal there, a lovely window where you can see out over the bay. So again, there's uh, the docks. We decided to walk to the end of the promenade, a very, very long walk and very, very wide, very wide promenade. We saw a uh, cruise ship had just left the uh, the docks in Liverpool and then there's a lighthouse I'm not sure if it's manned and there's Fort Perch Rock where there's free parking here as well so I hope you've watched I hope you've enjoyed watching this video this was on the end of the quayside it'd be great if you'd like and subscribe and watch uh, where we go on our adventures thanks bye